Asmongold, someone who not even a week ago said that he's just an American who doesn't follow and understand European politics, seemingly overnight, is now an expert in British geopolitics. Very cool and absolutely unbelievable. Brett watching Asman and chat talk about the UK protests. Uh-oh, it's so infuriating. Oh, oh boy. Somebody's unhappy about what I said. The lack of knowledge about the social situation will not surprise me, make it so hard to watch. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is very usual thing. Um, so you have Asmon doesn't know what he's talking about with no example of what I don't know. Wow, what a surprise. Now, in a typical conversation, that's really bad, and that instantaneously makes you look like a fool. But keep in mind, this is Asmongold. It's not like he's ever actually going to give reasoning or justification why he thinks something is correct. So, these people are literally playing exactly on his level, and he gets pissed. Because, you see, he doesn't need to provide proof for an argument, but everyone who doesn't agree does. So, very cool. This has never happened before. I think social media makes its countries guilty of this. Asman came across as another cute who was yanked, doesn't know anything. To even imply that the majority would vote for the next Hitler is insulting, suggesting Ooh. that the reasonable concerns held by the silent majority will lead all people to abandon all morals in for favor of fascism. Okay, so this is very interesting. I haven't seen the video where he talks about this because, <laughs> of course, the editors are not going to leave something that's so easy probably to make fun of him. And also, this probably is a video su supposed that Asmongold scores a huge W, but uh, we know how this ends with Asmongold. Living in a small cube, an echo chamber, if you will, does do what it does do best. The antithesis of traditional British values piss off. That's exactly what I'm saying. Mm. And I. Okay, uh, that is an absolute extreme opinion. Okay think that this person is delusional by thinking that it's not possible uh and also he didn't say that it's not possible you're straw manning his argument you probably again i don't know what the context of this is but i am i'm almost 99 percent certain that asmogold probably did his typical asmogold stuff of the, saying oh yeah if this continues Brit britain's gonna turn into this uh, the second third reich and that's gonna pretty much be it Without any doubt, I have 100% almost confidence that Asmongold is the type of dude to say that. And that is an extreme. Without question, an extreme, and a very improbable one. So, when Hitler got... But, and I will explain why it's improbable. I want him to actually try and explain something, maybe, for once in his life. People, people didn't vote for Auschwitz. Wait, this was Hitler? And I think that this person is delusional by thinking that it's not possible. Uh, and also, when Hitler got people... Okay, so his explanation why this is gonna happen is gonna be a reference to the past. We don't know how qual uh, how good of a quality this reference is gonna be, considering it... Dude, Asperger's talking a lot about Hitler lately, I have heard. Well, did he watch some kind of a, a children's animation 10-minute uh, long video on YouTube of someone explaining World War II? And now he's just referencing it? I have no idea. But in any case, um, referencing how Hitler got into power, incorrectly or correctly, because we don't know how wrong is he going to be yet again, do doesn't mean that this is going to happen in Britain at all. It's a completely different situation. Furthermore, it's a completely unique, unprecedented situation because the situation that's in Britain currently unraveling has absolutely no prior, uh, prior, uh, uh, prior scene in history. And also, Hitler used outside forces to rally Germany. So they have enemies outside. Britain is not looking at anyone outside. They're looking currently inside. That's already a huge difference that he probably is, does not know how to breach. Well, people didn't vote for Auschwitz. No, they didn't. But they understood that Auschwitz is a thing that probably is okay at that point because it's necessary for how things are happening. So it doesn't matter. They voted for making the German economy strong, making it focused on Germans, and making it be something that... Dude, 
Comparing what Hitler, uh, what was, what were some of the points that Hitler made and played off to come into power and make Germany into the, uh, well, you know, World War II thing that it become, to the decision of make Auschwitz, the one is during war, one is prior war. These are uncomparable things. They are fundamentally different. You no, know, German people can be proud of. They didn't vote on this right away. So when they didn't vote on Auschwitz at all, you try to look at and you say, oh, well, they're going to just it's not like somebody is going to go up there and say, hey, guys, I'm Hitler. It's me. Vote for me. I want to kill everybody. They're not going to do that. That's actually what you imply, considering you read this out and said, I think this is exactly what's going to happen. Um, if you say that this is correct, then what then that should happen pretty much because this is an extreme already that they're going to elect somebody that has a strong authoritarian presence that is willing to do things that are extreme but the population thinks are acceptable and this will okay that's word salad you cannot elect someone who has a strong authoritarian presence an authoritarian in the easiest, this is not the definition, by the way, but this is effectively, I think, probably what he maybe actually wants to mean. Someone who just controls and decides what happens in the country through influence in the uh, government and, you know, uh, power. Essentially, just one or a small group of people holding all of the power and decision-making ability in a con the country. If, if there exists a group like that already, that would imply that they're already in power and you don't need to elect them because they're already in power. Let's listen to that again. Hey, hey guys, I'm Hitler. Elect somebody that has a strong authoritarian presence. Yes, yes, that's very stupid. That is willing to do things that are extreme, but the population thinks are acceptable. If the population thinks extreme things are acceptable, they are no longer considered extreme things. And if the a whole population is willing to accept extreme, extreme things, I... This is so incorrect, it's actually hard to even begin to explain how incorrect is this. I'm not... I'm, I'm not sure he knows what he wants to say at this point. So... Let's work slightly backwards, okay? So he, uh, so his whole argument is saying that, uh, hey, if the riots in the UK continue and things in the UK are currently continuing, that the people are becoming, gonna become extreme and then pretty much just uh, vote in Hitler to, you know, put everyone in slave camps or whatever, right? That's kind of his argument. That would mean that people are already uh, the people don't care about the extreme they want ex uh, they they want to vote in the extreme but that doesn't mean that they're going to be whoever they vote in it doesn't mean that they're going to be an authoritarian that just means that they're going to they're going to uh, you know play on the idea of hey we're going to create concentration camps and that's kind of it it doesn't instantaneously mean that they're going to be an authoritarian i have no idea why he wants to say that i think he implies that because if you are, if your country is extreme and police brutality is normal, that that is easier, maybe. But I'm not sure if Asmongold is capable of thinking that much. So yeah, this is, this is completely insane. This will happen enough to where this person generates a degree of trust within their country, and then they wrap. If you are an authoritarian, you don't need any trust in your country because you already have all the power. Effectively, you become a dictator. That's what happens, and that's what's happened many times. Why is that what's hap what happens? There are countless times when... Uh, there are also, by the way, countless times when a country... Uh, the country's people have wanted an extreme, and they have voted in someone who does this extreme. Extreme by out, uh, outside perspectives, by the way, not by inside perspectives. And... Nothing bad has happened, they just did the extreme thing and then it was normal things like usual. There are also countless examples of that. In fact, there are fewer examples of Hitler being born than the opposite. 
So voting for the next Hitler, I, I think this is absolutely the case. I feel like a lot of people like this because I, I said basically that I, I feel like if Europe keeps having this stuff happen, they will eventually elect another Hitler. And I think this is very true. And it's funny. What kind of dumbass argument is that? Oh, if random things and extreme things happen by whatever definition, maybe a new Hitler comes. Yeah. Yeah, same thing with America, effectively. If random things keep happening and things keep changing, maybe another Hitler comes into power. Yeah, it's equally likely everywhere. Europe's not special in this case. Funny to me to think that somebody says the antithesis of traditional British values. You'd be really surprised at how fast those values go away the moment that people are scared or afraid and somebody else offers them a solution. Uh, they'll go away instantaneously. Uh, these no, not necessarily true. Look at America. How much? How many times have people tried to take away American guns and that has failed? Even though one side is extremely afraid of them and wants safety, yet it still somehow doesn't happen because the other side doesn't actually do that. Again, the. He's just assuming this happens. Bad thing happens, people instantaneously collapse and go to the first insane person who says, I'm going to get rid of all the bad people for you. That doesn't happen in an instant. Its values can only be held inside of a society that people feel safe into. And the moment... No, values can also be held... Values can also be held in a society that has absolutely no safety that they no longer feel safe in the society or they feel like the society has failed them well then conversely the values have also failed them and that's whenever they'll pick something that's more authoritarian or totalitarian i think that okay this is completely stupid and out of whack uh best example of this is the homeless uh it it is probably without question that society the government and pretty much everything, including the homeless themselves, have failed the homeless. And yet, homeless don't magically become these insane terrorists, which Asmongold implies they would become because that's the natural thing that happens when society or the government or whatever fails you. But I... When was the last time you heard of a homeless person trying to kill a governor or the president? Probably never, exactly. So, this is a completely insane take. That the Philippines is a good example of that, with Duarte. So, uh, this is the real- How is that a good example? He's not gonna explain, is he? Because I don't think that's a good example, for example. A reason why it happened. But it's not like he's gonna explain. And so, you really should read and, like, look at because, like, for example, like, there was a... Berlin, by the way, used to be, okay. like, the capital of, uh, like, being gay, basically. Like, all LGBT stuff. Germany was the country that the first transgender sex operation was... We have already heard this. This is wildly blown out of proportion. Oh, it was the first that did it. Yes, yes. And the first person in Antarctica was the first person in Antarctica. Very deep. ...was done in. And a lot of the Nazi stuff was actually in response to that. So if you actually look at, and that, that's what a lot of the books that were burned were. Was it? Oh, wait, we have already heard this argument. The book argument is stupid. The book argument, they burned just books that were against their ideology. It wasn't necessarily just, oh, be gay, the book being burned. It was a lot of things. Was books that were like that. Now, were the books burned because they were about transsexuals? Not necessarily. They were burned because it was Jewish books, right? And they felt like they had taken over their culture. So if you read more about this and you wonder... Uh, no. The Germans at no point actually... Uh, Hitler or no... I'm pretty sure almost... I'm pretty sure no German claims that the Jews dominated the German culture. No. Uh, the arg Hitler's argument was that they were in position positions of power in the country and they dictated for the German people what is good and what is wrong. Hmm, seeing strange parallels here, boys. Very, very, very strange. Understand it more. Now, maybe I'm not, I'm, I'm missing something here, but I don't think that I am. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Says something completely wrong. I don't think I'm classic Asmongold, boys. As far as I know, 
that's what happened. Mm. Germans were the prosperous environment. Yeah, exactly. Webinar Republic uh, prior to the Great Depression. Yes, and so uh, if you look into this and you see how it happened, Hitler didn't go from being a random failed art major to ruling like a fucking uh, Germany as like a military power and having concentration camps. Like this didn't happen overnight. It happened over like, okay. what, 15 years, maybe 20 years, somewhere around there. And also here's another wow, thing. Okay. Um, Hitler Very cool. also didn't win the first time that he tried to push to become in po to get into politics. It took him hmm. like two or three times. That's true. So you, you have to look into it like eight. Was it eight times? I don't know about eight. Oh, you're talking about years. Yeah, yeah. I think it was two or three. He failed initially. Yeah. So y you really, um, you, you, you uh, I think he has major holes. So he's effectively trying to say that he, he's completely ignoring what Hitler actually rose to power over. The may he's kind of substituting gay books and Jews for Hitler's rise to power. Hitler's campaign was primarily based off how absolutely destroyed Germany was after World War I finished, and how every single German pretty much in the country felt absolutely slighted, abused about uh, the terms of surrender and whatnot after World War I. Because Germany was in a really, 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 really bad state after World War I. And that's one of the primary things that Hitler pushed off about the fact that the German people are being abused, they're being taken advantage of, and the world's not fair against them. That, that's, that's what he did. And I, I, I don't even know if Asmongold knows this. You shouldn't, you shouldn't write this off. Okay, anyway, I'll, cool. I'll read the rest of this. Moreover, the idea of the riots are only because of racism. I never said that. Um, no more people, especially young men outside the hipster ones and bubble, feel just as disillusioned with the tolerant left and anti-British rhetoric as do with the out-of-touch. Yeah, I think this is true, too. Um, yeah, and this is also, by the way, feel just as disillusioned with the tolerant left. This also is another um, breeding ground for totalitarian uh, populism. This is exactly... Why? How... How being disillusioned by the left instantaneously throws you into being a totalitarian? How? This is such extreme out of the box thinking. Exactly how somebody like who somebody like a Hitler figure. <laughs> His only example is Hitler. <laughs> also, dude, Hitler was not thrown. Dude, Hitler. The, the left didn't mock Hitler, and then Hitler be became insane because of that, okay? That also kind of did not happen. Jesus, this is just so wild and completely random. Gets into, uh, gets into power. This is exactly how it happens. Exactly how it happens. Um, uh... Countless examples. Many such cases. I have seen this plenty of times. It happens constantly. It could happen tomorrow. It could happen maybe after tomorrow. Countless cases. It is what it is. Bruh. I love how he has no idea how insane and stupid he is. Uh, and I'm about to say all this is middle class white guy. Greater London doesn't like the Tories. Okay. We've collectively voted to reduce immigration. Yep, exactly. Uh, Brexit was driven by many factors. Is that even true? A lot of people voted to reduce immigration, but... I mean... One of the greatest things, personally, the moment I saw, understood that Britain is absolutely it, was the great moment where the bad guys took over the British Parliament in an election, and they said, oh, we're not going to deport people. No, that would be bad and racist. And I'm like, wait, what? I'm sorry, I, it kind of looked like that's your whole prerogative, that you're going to do it like that, and now you're saying that's bad? And these are the bad people? <laughs> ah, that's when I knew that Britain is absolutely doomed. Desire to take back our borders was un undoubtedly the decisive issue. White boys are shown to perform worse in schools than any other group. Despite this, no action has been taken to help them. They're still demonized on a daily basis. Yep, of course. I would I would question this extremely. Are really white white boys the worst performers in schools? I'm I'm really gonna press extra doubt on that one hard. That's right. This is again 
this all goes to what I was saying before. I've got a buzzword on Reddit. Yeah, exactly. Non-London white communities have become increasingly impoverished. <laughs> when you read these sentences, do you guys think this is something that a Hitler-like figure, a totalitarian figure could capitalize on? Do you Why would a totalitarian figure need to capitalize on this, though? I think this is something that a guy like that or a woman like that could say, hey, you know what? I've got the solution. Well, anyone could say a lot of things in this case. I, I don't know why he magically just assumes that his choice is the most correct one. Yeah. Almost anyone I think can so. do this. 100%. Yeah. Exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, it, it's crazy how this person can basically write the... They can write all the causal factors for somebody like that to arise and then somehow refuse to make the link because they believe in some sort of greater culture. This is totally... But in your world of dumbassery, his greater, his greater cultural thing makes sense because if you believe that these are the things that are gonna 100% make it happen, then the British value system of, co uh, of current existence is going to prevent that from happening because they are both magically infused with power that I nor anyone else understand. Totally fucking bullshit. People throw that away at a second. The moment that they feel like they're in danger or they're threatened, they're going to throw that away in, a, in a instantaneously. I've heard the same. Mm, yes, if this was true, societies would not exist. Empires would not form and whatnot. People used to die because of their beliefs. Now, again, the current world is different, but his, uh, but his idea why a totalitarian Hitler can rise up, take power in Britain, and start World War III effectively is based on history and not modern day happenings, and all and on a very messed up and diluted understanding of history. And things in history class? Yeah, absolutely. Do you not think Trump is a dictator coded in the same way? Trump is dictator coded in the same way? He is. He absolutely is. And uh, that's the reason why- Wait, right, so shouldn't you- See, this is my argument of this can- ha <laughs> By this definition, it can happen anywhere. So, but is Trump- Shouldn't he then fight against Trump because it's bad? A lot of people don't like him. And I think Trump has done a lot of damage to himself by acting like a dictator. Or, or sorry, not acting like a dictator. Wait, so these are the things that are going to make Britain into, uh, you know, the Third Reich version 2. But Trump exhibits all of these same, uh, same things, but he won't become Hitler somehow. Again, doesn't make sense. Because he really didn't in a lot of cases. Uh, he, uh, he, he speaks like a dictator in a lot of cases. Like, if you're going to vote for me, you're never going to have to vote again. Um, you know, I'm going to, the first day in office, I'm going to be like a dictator, etc. Uh, this is language that I think if he didn't use, it would be better for his, um, it would be better for his campaign. Uh, question marks? Yeah, That's all completely marks. out of context. I know that, but speaking in that way <laughs> lends itself towards taking it out of context. Speaking out of context lends itself in to speaking out of context. Are we in a uh, Deadpool Wolverine movie and we're breaking the fourth wall here? Or what, what exactly is happening uh, here? Th th this is the same, this is the same level of profane thinking as more is more. What? You've uh, been fooled? No, I haven't been. I know what I'm talking about. Of course. See, the people that are getting upset about what I'm saying right now, the reason why you're getting upset is because I am not... Because he is thinking logically and you are thinking emotionally. Oh my god, is it that point? Is it that Asmongold moment where he calls everyone who doesn't think like uh, him just personal attackers or not logical? Not... Like, you're probably, re like, I'm going along with this, and I'm explaining why this is happening, and you're like, yeah, yeah, true, 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 true. Oh, wait, and now what? I say this, and now you're like, wait a minute, wait, I was just truing, but now I'm not truing anymore. Oh, my God.
You're not. No, this is. I well, this. I don't know if this is a verse explanation that. <laughs> Listening, and you're 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 not thinking. Stop. Oh, oh. oh. Stop. Stop just like fucking reacting and just think for a second, okay? Ah, that's the okay, okay. I, I, that's the, that's almost the same as saying you're that you're being irrational. I am being logical. You you think with feelings. I'm saying that he has done damage to his credibility and his brand by saying things that can be interpreted as things that are dictate dictator like. Well, considering the these are everyone's a dictator in your world. Like. He has. He's, he's, I think that this has been damaging for him. Now, the media has made it a lot worse than it actually is. It absolutely has. However, I think... I'm sorry, am I the only one not seeing media posts and things trending about Trump being a dictator? Because kind of not, currently. I think that he could have done a better job explaining the way he looks at things. That's the way that I see it. Mm. He's not wrong. Cool. That, that's all there is to it. And so if, if people are unhappy about that, that's fine. And, uh, but that, that's it. Fooled? Chatter? Uh, from the tribe? Yeah, you think I don't know that? Of course I know that. He's not one, but sometimes he can sound like one for sure. Yeah, he does sound like one a lot. And I think that's one of the reasons. And also, by the way... No, 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 no. At this point, the argument initially made was, wait a minute, Trump literally fits all of these definitions. And by the way, that's true. Trump probably does fit every single point to a pretty well extent. So, that means Trump is Hitler, and you said Hitler is bad. So, is the, and, and yet you're somehow not saying Trump bad. Which is strange, because I thought that this whole thing is Hitler bad, so if Trump is Hitler, Trump bad. But that's, that's not happening. And he's completely ignoring that. If Trump said that... I am going to, like, basically turn myself into a dictator. A lot of the people that are voting for him would be happy. This is, this is the truth. They okay, how about instead of a lot, we use percentiles? It would be happy if that, if that happened. He has, yeah, but I'm I mean, a hundred people is also a lot. Saying, like, if he did, and he meant it, right? It wasn't taken out of context. It wasn't some weird thing. No, we wouldn't. All right. All right. Okay. Wait, what? No, he wouldn't? These okay. are the same people that, like, they were interviewed at a Trump rally, and people said, how would you feel about... How do you, not these, uh, how do you know that these are the same people? Hulk Hogan being Donald Trump's running mate, and they said, Donald Trump knows what he's doing. I just trust him. See, you, it, it's so sad. How is that different from 99% of the people who uh, just live in America? No one, almost no one knows all the, all of the small things and blah, blah, blah. Everyone's clueless to a degree. Bad for me to see that people don't even realize how this stuff happens. It's crazy because like we've had so many examples in history of this happening. Yeah, And sure. it happens again and it's beginning. Say Hitler for the third time. It's <laughs> to happen now and oh. nobody wants to realize it oh shit! i think it's because people actually aren't educated they don't know any of these instances and okay. so they think that this is all new name an instance of more than hitler so the u.s is immune to dictatorship but the uk isn't ah uh, ah uh, someone got it someone got it um he now he doesn't understand he doesn't understand that this is the outcome that he himself just said because again trump falls under all of these things also, by the way, Kamal Harris also falls under all of these things. Again, these things, if you broaden them out like Asmongold is currently doing, every single person, me, you, everyone, is exactly that, some kind of uh, Hitler kind of dictator. He doesn't understand this, though. I don't think that the U.S. is immune to a dictatorship. Okay. I think that we are not close enough to it for it to be a reality. Mm -hmm. I think that it could be possible in like the next maybe 10 years. <laughs> Again, just, just random stuff. Maybe 50 years. F oh. But I mean, what's the difference? 10, 50 years? Okay, okay. This is my prediction for a dictatorship, a new dictatorship in the world popping. It could be in the next second or next 10 billion years. 
How do you like the odds, boys? Yeah, pretty good. But I don't think that it's happened. I don't think it's going to happen yet. Yet, okay. Forgetting January 6th? No, I mean, like, January 6th was like a... It was, it was bad, right? Bad. January 6th, bad. Bad. But it was nothing like an actual dictatorship, right? I mean, let's be honest. There's nothing like it. You typed this a number of times. Oh boy, we got the comment section. You use extreme like... examples. What do you think I'm not? What do you think I'm? I'm. I'm looking at wrong. Hitler, the 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 way that all of the things that you are saying is right, and you don't even understand that they're extremes. What's the just, just, just saying because some someone died t ten miles away, people are gonna instantaneously give up their rights and do some magic stuff is insane that's an extreme easy extreme by the way uh what's the perspective a real civil war i don't think would happen because too many people are soft oh that will happen until it has to happen uh yeah sure mm, very good okay so right now nothing okay so like nothing then right the spammer yeah no you, you will God. get you're, you're gonna get banned for spamming oh, no. right but uh you know again if you had just typed the first message it would have been okay i just don't want to read the spam over and over it's annoying uh, that's the reason why. Uh, hey, are we done? Uh, are we done? Are we just watching it stuff? Because I, I feel tired, okay? I am exhausted. Anyway, bye-bye.